Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Dyn video blog done in conjunction with Circle ID and ICANN Wiki. And I'm here at ICANN 51 with Tom Brackey of Freund and Brackey. Hi there, everyone. Do I need to speak into the mic? Uh, Is it yeah. like this? Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna speak into the mic. Can you um, just tell me a little bit about your, your law practice and uh, how long you've been involved in the domain industry? Yeah, sure. So I uh, work over at Freund & Brackey. We're a boutique intellectual property firm uh, just a mile from here in Beverly Hills. Been around about uh, 22 years or so and uh, a lot of trademark work, a lot of copyright work, music, film, and of course, uh, a lot of domain name work. Got it. So that be mostly UDRP and IP type um, disputes? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of IP disputes uh, uh, related to trademarks, related to copyrights, related to the right of publicity, when can I use your name, when can I use your face, and of course uh, related to domain name disputes. Got it. Okay. So I think you're one of the few attorneys that is also a, a GTLD applicant um, and in fact now also a, a registry, right? Can you can you tell me how you became, um, well, I know how you got into the industry, but tell me which um, domains you can you rephrase the question, Ray? <laughs> uh, that was like the crummiest interview moment ever. Let me try that again. How did you come to be an applicant? Uh, well, it's kind of a, a long and twisted story. But, uh, you know, I represent brands. I come from the trademark space, and uh, I became aware of this program seven or eight years ago. And uh, about after the Singapore meeting, the previous Singapore meeting, when it went live, went back to the brands and said, okay, it's time. Let's apply. Um, and they all passed. But uh, I thought the opportunity was too good to pass up. So uh, some friends and I got together and uh, did a variety of applications on our own. Got it. How many did you apply for? Uh, we ended up applying for 10. Uh, we now have three, dot .menu, dot .build, and dot .luxury. Um, six have been in contention that have got resolved, and there's one more left. Aha. Uh -huh. Which one's left? Dot .online. And will that be going to ICANN or private auction anytime soon? We think it'll be in private auction next week, so that's why I'm giving you the funny look and being very quiet. <laughs> Got it. So I shouldn't ask you what you're planning to bid to or anything like that. You can ask away, but uh, you won't get an answer. Okay. Um, how, tell us more about uh, Dot Menu and uh, as, which of the three of the ones that you have have launched already? Yeah, all three have launched. Um, that was sort of a priority for us. Uh, we tried to be as nimble as possible and get out of the gate quick. So uh, Menu was the first to launch, then Build, then Luxury. But they've all been in GA for at least uh, 90 or 100 days now. Got it. And which, which of those is uh, exceeding expectation and, um, and really out of the gate ahead of the others? Well, uh, I love all my children equally. Um, uh, they're, 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 they're all exceeding expectations in terms of uh, 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 being fun, being vibrant, and being adopted. Uh, they're, they're all selling very well, um, and, 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 and we're having a great time with them. They, they each excel in their own way. You know, Menu is aimed at the food industry. It's lower priced. Build is a mid-priced, uh, uh, aimed, aimed at the building and construction industry, and Luxury is uh, one of the highest priced TLDs out there. What does a lot Luxury cost typically? Well, uh, typically they're being sold retail for seven to nine hundred dollars per year, and uh, wow. premiums are above that. So, coming from Beverly Hills, we thought, you know, some people like to pay more for things. Let's try that. Is that the highest price TLD in terms of base price? Do you know, or are there others? I think there's at least one higher. I think Dot Rich is uh, perhaps even more more expensive than Dot Luxury. But who knows? Maybe we'll raise our prices. Interesting. Um, and are you mainly just selling domain names, or do you have any ancillary products or services that go around any of these domains? Well, I mean, we, we offer the usual suite of, of related services, you know, whether it's email or web hosting or security or all that type of stuff. We also have um, some site, builder, uh, 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 site builders that we've got going and some templates that go with it. So um, uh, it's definitely more than just a domain name. Um, um, uh, and, and, and we've been having some good pickup and good adoption from folks in the industry. Excellent. Well, thank you for sharing. And best of luck with Dot Online. I think that's an exciting TLD. So we'll see how that, uh, that shakes out. Okay. Well, Ray, thanks for having me. And uh, see you around ICANN, everyone.